So after landing, we went to a restaurant called Peach Tree. Um, we mostly went to this restaurant because it's similar to one that we have back home, but this one was a lot better. And we need to kill time before checking into our hotel at three o'clock. So our second day in Ireland, we decided to take the train or the tram as I call it to city center. It was about a 30 minute train ride. We went into the city and to see the temple bar, as you see here in the picture. We also went to get souvenirs. We didn't have to get them later and just shopped around a little bit. There was a lot to do in the city center. So if you're ever in Ireland, you definitely, definitely have to go to the Irish Immigration Museum. It's really cool. They have a lot of cool displays in there um, and you can learn all about their history. It takes like an hour and a half to get through the whole thing, but it's definitely worth it. After seeing the cliffs, we went into Galway. Um, if you're wondering like how we went, like got to the cliffs and everything, we took a day tour. So we had to get up at like five in the morning to catch our bus and everything. And then the tour also stopped in Galway for us to get off and we spent like two hours there. And we just walked around, got something to eat as you see here. Um, saw some of like the art as you saw like early on in the video that they have. It's a very artistic town. They also have a marina, so they have a lot of boats and everything. It's very close to the water. I would suggest dressing warm because it's so close to the water, it is quite cold here. Other than that, we just enjoyed our last day in Ireland and just went a little bit more shopping, went thrifting. Um, if you don't enjoy like the crazy busy city life, I would highly recommend staying in a place like Galloway out in the countryside because it's a lot more laid back but there's still a lot of stuff to do anyways. And yeah, that was pretty much our trip to Ireland.